Gemini, what's up? Welcome to my channel and my tripping or not tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the ghetto nun. So Gemini, I am here to do your January 2022 reading, my G. I do cuss in my readings and get no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle Gemini, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We're going to do it together. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single Gemini. Getting no fit nugs. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your head on the way out. Hit the alley. You'll be back in Toronto. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. Love y'all time. Man, I had to take a big old break in between the uh, Sagittarius and Leo reading uh, Gemini. For real, for real. That energy was crazy. Okay? So please do me right, fellow air sign. Please. Okay? Give me some messages for Gemini in January. The running woman. Get the fuck on for you. Get spit the fuck on, Gemini. You could be telling someone. You could be, whenever she comes out first, I have to put something in front of her to see what she's leaving, to see where she's going. So I'm going to put this in the middle. But this is someone leaving something. That's also like in a hurry, Gemini, too. But somebody, some of y'all just going to be ready to get off of work in Gemini. I mean, in Gemini. In January, like, uh, work may seem kind of like, uh, it may be busy just because it's the beginning of the year. The first of the month, Gemini, I'm being told, like, busy. You're happy to go home after work. Well, it's, that's a regular shit. Yes, I can deal with that. Yeah, I wish I was home. Yeah. Lay a head on my pillow. Bow, bow, and just relax. Some of y'all hop up early in the morning. I see exercise out here, Gemini. You guys jogging, doing things to take care of yourself in January. Some of y'all, uh, hop up to go help. You got a message, Gemini, and you have to go help someone, a family member, a friend, a lover, like someone may need your help in January. Like, please come and you just hop right up and do it. Uh, no questions asked. Gemini is on that shit, you know, is what this looks like. Like, you ain't got to say nothing. I'm on my way. Okay, Gemini, give me another one. processing thinking this really feels like gemini self-care thank god <laughs> thank god uh this feels like self-care all january like uh exercising jogging you may find just being outdoors makes you feel better you're able to clear your thoughts process things uh stuff like that like getting out of the bed and like let me go out and go get this shit go do something uh, to get my mind off of this is what I heard. There's something you've been thinking about, Gemini, you don't want to think about anymore. Or if you don't want to think about this anymore, it would help you to do some type of like uh, activity, not strenuous, but active for sure. So swim, jog, gym, sauna, jacuzzi, something, something outdoors, uh, hike, walk, something. Okay. Not wash clothes. This y'all like, oh, shit, I got to go home, wash clothes, make it. This, this is like you guys are always on the move. I feel like uh, in January you're being asked to just do something for yourself, Jimmy. Whew. Thank God. Y'all's reading feels a lot uh, clearer. Put one on this uh, Tony, 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 lay your head on my pillow. Why is this here for Gemini. Somebody may have forgot, uh, somebody number one forgot the clothes in the dryer or the washer. Yeah, go get them. You must know they steal or something, Gemini. Okay, go get that shit. They're still there, though. You must have fell asleep or something. Uh, this is my cross and paths card. Two of wands, you could be dealing with the fire sign. You and the fire sign may be thinking about each other right now. Uh, I feel like you both want to come to each other. That sounds kind of nasty when I said it, but I, I didn't mean it in a nasty way. And I, I know I said it correctly, but like you guys want to be together, Gemini, especially if it's a fire sign. Some of you guys are going to go help a family member. And on the way to help this family member, you're wondering like, how the fuck did they get in this shit? You know, like you go help somebody like how, how are they even like, 
why are they even in Tijuana? Like, they live in Carson. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, some shit like that. You are, like, thinking, like, how did this happen? You try to calm down, uh, I'm being told, or calm down, Gemini. Make sure you do your breathing exercises because there's something that kind of gets you mixed up. It feels like it's with a family member or a friend or something. What with the two of wands? Chariot card. Yeah, you have to get in your car all of a sudden. I feel like you may be, uh, whatever this is, Gemini, that happens in January, you need to think calmly, G. Because I feel like some of y'all get lost. And you're going to need to ask somebody for directions and shit. Like, I have no fucking clue where I'm going, okay? Because you're rushing, Gemini. Make sure not, you're not rushing anything, Gemini. Like, make sure you're doing things when you're ready and prepared to do them. Make sure you're prepared to do things. Because I feel like it's a, like they, like if somebody's unprepared. They just do things without thinking, without processing, without, you know what I mean? Putting shit like in their dome first and like sorting through it, sifting through it before they execute it is what I'm being told. You could be dealing with the cancer as well. I see some woman chasing some man's car. <laughs> Two, like just acting the fool in the street. And somebody's trying to figure out why do I do these things? Or somebody's chasing a man, I heard. Somebody could be chasing you, Gemini, or you chasing somebody. Uh, I don't know. Somebody's chasing a man, though. Cancer, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, like... I don't know. Put one on this running woman here. Why is this here for Gemini? Or this is a career, uh, Gemini. Somebody's just like, uh, like that's why I feel like they want you to like take some time out for yourself. It's either somebody smothering Gemini or some career could be like uh, just taking over your whole life or something like that. You're going to be uh, asked to make a decision like what you want to do with like your life. The rest of it, I heard. The rest of your life. You or somebody else needs to figure this out. It's a feminine energy though, whoever it is. Put one on the running woman. The devil came out. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. But yes, in January, Capricorn season. It's a, it's a, it's an evil woman out here, Gemini. I ain't gonna lie. It is a Capricorn, a cancer, like somebody lays on their bed at night and, and just like, I don't know. These could be nasty, dirty thoughts too. So yeah, yeah. If it's something like that, but I also feel like this is some woman cause the devil came out on that. It didn't come out on the pillow. It came out on the running woman. This is somebody who just like is toxic uh, Gemini, there could be a toxic woman around you, Gemini. I don't know what you're, you could, a lot of y'all work with this toxic woman or it's a family member. This is my DNA card. Uh, or it's a family member. Someone around you was like toxic. I still feel like you would go to this person's a yeah and help them or whatever. It feels like family could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but for the majority of you, you work with this person. Some of y'all want to leave this job and work somewhere else because this woman is so fucking annoying. G. Uh, whoever this is, Gemini, or this, I don't know, or this person. I just see a lot of you guys dedicated to your work, but it's, I feel like that's all you do, Gemini, or a cross watcher. Some woman does something to a car, vandalizes a car, or fucks for a car, I heard. Well, fuck for a car. I don't know, Gemini. I Look, that ain't none of my business what she do for them wheels, okay? Okay. Uh, you know they got Uber and Lyft, ma'am. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody driving. Woo! You ain't got the fuck him. You just need the app. Anyway, put one on the processing card. Yeah, you ain't even got to get this close to that motherfucker. You just, you know what I'm saying? Punch in your shit. Put in your uh, payment information. You know what I'm saying? They come get you. Ain't no contact. In, in fact, there's no contact. Uh, somebody out here fucks for cars or things or to get ahead or something, Gemini. Okay. In January, you may be processing or thinking about your connections or relationships with other people, especially if it's with the Cancer or Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or they're like thinking about you. 
Like every time somebody looks at somebody like they just toxic G. Like every time I come to you, it's a fucking problem. Why can't we just chill? Why can't we just relax? Shit always, you lost or you need help or it's always an issue. Somebody here feels like someone always is like a hindrance or something. Yeah, you may be ghosting somebody, Gemini. Hermit card with the lovers. You could be dealing with the Virgo, King of Cups here. Yeah, you could be ghosting someone, a masculine energy or a masculine energy could be ghosting a feminine energy. They just stopped talking to someone. It looked like it's some Gemini males that just stopped coming through, stop fucking, stop calling or whatever. Or they tell this person this, like stop calling here. Damn. Some man knows he crossed paths with the devil is what I heard. It's what you're hearing. Could be a Sagittarius, I guess. If you're a Capricorn woman watching, you're going to meet a Cancer. I don't know why you up in uh, Gemini's reading, so I don't know, but you are. Or, yeah, you're going to cross paths with a Cancer. It works out, too, Capricorn woman. Or this is Capricorn season, Gemini. If you're going to meet a uh, Cancer, uh, it works out. If you're running into this person or some of y'all don't want to run into this person with the devil, but some of y'all will run. I'm being told some of y'all go. Yeah, I was about to say some of y'all gonna run into somebody you don't want to see Gemini. Uh, others of you, you're happy to see this person. It just depends how you view the relationship, how you think about it, how you process this relationship. A lot of y'all be like, get the fuck on for you, get spit the fuck on, uh, get the behind me, Satan, right? This type of shit. Some of y'all avoid someone, Gemini. Uh, but this person is like always like in something like they're clingy because uh, this could be codependency with this. The, I mean, this man with his hand on the lady's shoulder, they could be clingy or just, you know what I'm saying? They attach them like a like a like they attach themselves too fast, too quick or something. Gemini, be careful of this. Somebody it's a turn off for some people or for someone. Someone's like needy or something, Gemini. OK. Your energy is not out here. So this person could be doing this to you. Uh, you can feel this way about this person. But I feel like you would still help this person. But you're like, why are we friends? Why are we together? Why are we like, what is the, like, is this what the point of this is? Is to like you to just burden me or, you know what I mean? Somebody also likes to disturb someone when they're working or sleeping and they don't want anything. Like maybe they do it on purpose, Gemini. This is some toxic shit. Like somebody comes to like purposely fuck somebody shit up. Like when they're doing something. And somebody's like, I mean, all right, what kind of relationship is this? Because I feel like you just stress me the fuck out, says Gemini. Yeah, Jimmy. One on this pillow, two of wands in the chariot. That's too many. Do the right thing. Yeah, stop fucking for cars. <laughs> Whoever this is. Uh, shit. This is somebody literally sleeping with somebody. If it's not cars, it's material shit. Like somebody meets people, cross paths with people uh, to do shit like that. They need to do something for themselves, Gemini. Or there's somebody's just codependent, but it feels material. It's either material things or it's like energy or emotion or validation. Thank you, validation, they said. Somebody's sleeping in their car too, Gemini. You, a Cancer, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You may see this person sleeping in, they may call you because they sleeping in their car. Somebody's like also just being used. Like when someone's down and out, that's when they call them. And can't, I mean, I was about to say Cancer, could be. Or Gemini, whoever. Somebody always goes to rescue this person. You need to question why, number one, this motherfucker always in their car sleeping and shit. Like, what's going on with you life? Fuck the relationship, motherfucker. What's going on with you job? Shit, what's up with you? I'm in between jobs, I heard. Okay. You in between lanes. You need to be getting between the yellow lines. You parked all fucked up. Your house is parked crooked. <laughs> Basically, ooh, Gemini. Somebody was sleeping with somebody they work with, Gemini. It's a, it was a fling, I'm being told, or somebody's doing this, G. Something about the summertime. Chicago, New York. Ooh. Somebody's trying to separate from some behavior, connection, addiction, or something like that. Somebody does want to do the right thing out here. 
Uh, maybe they want to separate. Someone knows they need to separate from someone that's codependent for uh, we'll fuck for food, we'll fuck for cars, we'll, it's something like that. Somebody knows they need to separate from this behavior or whoever's engaged with this person, uh, like, you know, involved with this person, I should say. Or you could be engaged, Gemini, I don't know. But whoever's involved with this person, they, knows that they know that they need to separate from this person. Somebody's getting really uh, big as well. Yeah, so exercise will help Gemini or some type of cardio work or something. There's some addiction out here to like food or something. Pizza. Because, you know, Mookie worked at the pizza shop. I heard dough. So it might be just money, shit. You know what I mean? Somebody addicted to money or actual dough, G. Like, like donuts, like dough. Watch a, a, your, 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 your appetite, Gemini, in January. You guys could have cravings. <clears throat> and I don't see anybody being pregnant, but this is somebody like going, getting up late at night or going to do something that they know is not good for them. I got heavy cancer out here, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, could be Pisces, Scorpio. Put one on this devil here with the running woman. Why is this here for Gemini in January? Some of you guys are going to be protesting. You're going to meet somebody at a protest or you're uh, some type of, uh, I heard, civil rights activism. Something that you are involved in, like for people's rights, human rights, animal rights, I heard too. Uh, you're going to meet somebody there, Gemini or you're uh, like a benefit, you could be jogging or running like for breast cancer awareness or some type of something like that, you're gonna run into someone. I don't know if this person wants to see you or not, Gemini, or if you wanna see this person, but you damn sure run into them, G. After you run into this person, Gemini, uh, after you both run into each other, let's say like y'all don't tell, y'all may exchange numbers like, yeah, call me, right, whatever. And then when somebody gets home and they think about it and shit, like, man, that shit was, hell no, hell no. I feel like somebody's being nice. Like, yeah, I'll call you, call me, girl, okay? Okay. Like, and they never call. Like, man, it was the worst I ever had, worst I ever had. Some, uh, I don't know. Somebody like it brings up bad memories, brings up old bad memories. I heard, I don't know, Gemini. This is how you feel about somebody or somebody feel about you, but your energy ain't out here. So put one on this devil here with this uh, running woman. Poetic justice could be a Libra here. Somebody could be addicted to a Libra. Somebody also is addicted to going to jail. Some And someone's addicted to bailing this person out. Like someone's addicted to like bad behavior and someone's addicted to getting this person out of this bad behavior. Uh, it's like some codependent relationship, but both people like it. Like this person likes being homeless or stranded or needy or something. And the other person loves to be that person to fill that void. It's, I don't know. I mean, if it worked for you, cuz then I mean, shit now. <laughs> Gemini you could be attracted to a Libra or a Capricorn or a Libra Capricorn is attracted to you it's a woman somebody is with someone Gemini like say uh there's someone that wants to be with you or that's kind of obsessed with you kind of is what this is uh, whoever they're with, cause they are with someone, that person is obsessed with you too. It's like a woman and a man, G. Or you are with someone and you are in your person is obsessed with the person you're obsessed with, G. It's a lazy ass bitch out here too. Gemini, you gonna need to sit your ass down in uh, January. It's almost like you're always down to go. Sure, I'll go. Sure, I'll do it. Sure, let's go. Sure, let's plan it. Sure, let's do this. I feel like you need to do something for yourself or by yourself. Like, because it's almost like, uh, I don't know who this is, but it says toxic friends. It's like, I'll connect with anybody just for the company, just to, it's like people you have nothing in common with or just because they're there. Or this is someone else and they call it love, but it's not. It's like someone suffers from some type of trauma or something they need to heal from. 
Uh, and instead of them doing that, they put themselves in situations where they always need help or they're in danger of hurting others themselves, I heard, or something like that. But they thrive off of this. They meet people because of this. Somebody could be a lawyer out here. A defense attorney, I heard. You could be wanting to go on a date, uh, Gemini, with somebody, a Libra, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, drive, drive somewhere, or I don't know. Somebody wants to take someone out. This feels new. Like, you know what I mean? Like, because they're meeting and, and getting each other's number, or you run into somebody like that, Gemini, or something like that. I do see like a road trip, a camper, somebody meeting somebody on tour. Uh, I feel like y'all are going to New York or something about, yeah, New York, a road trip or something like that. Or you meet somebody in New York, Gemini. There could be a Libra just on your nuts, Gemini, or you are on a Libra's nuts, Gemini. Okay. It's one or the other. It's a woman on another woman's nuts. Okay. Or somebody just obsessed with like hood niggas, jail dudes, like, you know what I mean? Like just hood ass, like, or don't have shit ass, you know what I mean? Like they, because they want to rescue them or fix them or some shit, like broken puppies or I don't know. It's like somebody is like a, a project or something out here. You could live in a Gemini and no disrespect. Shout out to all the PJs and wherever the hell, right? Shout out to y'all. Keep the shit clean. Protect your kids, your community. Clean up the, all that shit, right? Shout out to y'all, right? It's a lot of motherfuckers that don't even live there, okay? But somebody is like, wants someone to be their project, G. Because they have nothing else to do or they have other... things going on in their life. I'm being told whoever wants to make another person their project, you could, it's some stuff you could be doing in your city right now if you want to just work on something. Uh, I'm being told people out on the streets, uh, racial tension, police, it's a whole lot of things you could get involved in. That's why they said activism. Somebody needs to get involved in something, like something that makes a, uh, uh, the world a better place, they said, and stop trying to make someone their project and make something their project, something their priority, not someone. Somebody out here is just like, wants to be in everybody else shit, you know, and not really focus on their own shit, Gemini. You with somebody else. One on this process in here with the two of cups. What's this? Bad boys, bad boys, oh, what you gonna do? Yeah, the police. It's the poetic justice card is out here. Something with a Libra. Some of you guys are just trying to, like, figure out, like, really who your friends are, who they aren't. Or some people could be trying to, or some people are thinking this about you, like, uh evaluating or re-evaluating your relationship, friendship, whether this is a family friend, someone that you're dating that's new. Some of you guys are uh, reconsidering what you call a best friend, a brother, or and all that shit. Somebody gonna be dating a cop out here too. Or wonder if they should date a cop, like, or they wanna know if you'll date a cop, Gemini, or you are a cop and wanna know if somebody will date you. I don't know. <laughs> mm hmm I do. Maybe you stand up for police brutality. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You're serious about that. Injustices, I heard. Animals, police brutality, black lives. Women, uh, we got women out here, just women's rights, uh, things like that in the workplace. It's like some type of activism. Go on, Coretta Scott. Okay, uh, Gemini. Shit, go on. Coretta, to shit. Somebody gets arrested and somebody has to come and I guess you bail their ass out, Gemini, or you or they bail you out. I'm telling you, it's like somebody that always it's either bailed out of a situation 
that they like always put themselves in, but it's to get attention or someone literally gets like goes to jail. But I feel like even the person that's like a repeat offender keeps going to jail because it's attention. It's a, it's a bad form of attention, but I mean, it's attention. And somebody could be like, how are we related? How are we friends? Co like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, I don't move like that. How you move like that? You know, somebody's questioning something like, how did we even get together to... The police come up on whoever's uh, sleeping in their car. They tap on your window with that baton and, or that flashlight, uh, sir. Like, what the fuck are you? So you sleeping in a restaurant parking lot or something? Somebody is. The police do run up on your vehicle, though. They do. They ask for your ID and everything. It's a male and a fem It's a male and a female officer that pulls up on whoever's sleeping in their car, G. Okay. This is either you, Gemini, a Cancer, Libra, Capricorn. Could be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but I don't really feel like it. But it could be a uh, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. What the hell? I heard a sleepless in Manhattan, but homeless in Manhattan? That's basically what I heard, homeless in Manhattan. So somebody looked the part, but they ain't got shit, Gemini, or something like that. Like somebody always has to get bit. Like, I thought you was a boss. I thought you was Carrie Bradshaw and shit. You like scary Bradshaw, bitch. You always in trouble or worried. Like, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, basically, uh, this hex in the city and shit. Ooh, <laughs> somebody on that witchy poo shit too, Gemini. Anyway, let me go. Uh, Gemini, that's been your reading, G. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Gemini getting no fit nucks. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the ghetto nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.